welcome my fabulous Scorpios. Hi, how are ya? Okay, I'm doing a reading for the mid-month for you guys. Just a quick look, okay? Let me do a, bl a blessing for you. Sage in the space for my Scorpio ears. I love ya. I hope you're doing good. Some of you guys are just amazing and I want to encourage you to shine, shine, shine. Don't care what they say. Shine, 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 Scorp. Ooh, bring it out. Stop hiding. Come out. Be strong. There is no competition. If you think there is, then you're on the wrong platform. You need to be on your own platform, shining your stuff, babe. Positive, encouraged. Yes. Holy Spirit, do not let any negative energies interfere with this reading. We cast it out. We cover ourselves with white light. We cover ourselves with the blood and love of Jesus. And we come forth with honest messages and energies for my Scorpios. Thank you. I'm going to do a quick sound vibrational check. Calling in the higher mind. Transmuted energy. Scorpio, summon rising Venus. under incredible spiritual attack I'm not joking I'm not a player and I wanted to tell you about this kit if you haven't seen it it's one of the many kits that I offer but right now I'm telling you about this because many of you are spirit workers you're spiritual beings you're powerful high priestesses you know, kings and queens with Christ you've been around a long time many 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 centuries I know this I'm here to help you this is clear black magic and spells. It's uh, desert sage, sea salt, sweet grass, and it comes with everything you would need to do a really good clearing of yourself, your space, and your heart. These are Apache tears, okay? This is $45 plus shipping and handling. If you'd like it, you email me, Robin's Realm Readings at Gmail, and you say, um, magic box, okay? That's all you have to do black box or magic box. Don't want to say black box. You'll probably have the damn government on me going, black box? They're so retarded. I'm telling you, these stupid people we deal with on our planet. <laughs> anyway, you guys aren't. You're, you're freaking amazing. Here we go, Scorpios. I'm doing this and um, I'm doing my reading because the way that I'm doing these in the mid-month is because of the fact that you love and support me so well and that you're powerful beings and I would love nothing more than to be connected with you bringing you truthful energies to help you get through your months and there are many many readers but everybody's different I love you thank you for your loyalties here we go Scorpio summon rising of Venus what is the background energies in the middle of July please what are showing up as background energies affecting Scorpios at this time in love. But, hmm, we need. Did you see that? Wow. Just something like that happens. I'm like, okay, well, let's find out. Oh, good. Oh my God, it's about time, Scorpios. You ready, darlings? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for you. Cross watchers can watch this as well. Thank you so much. Scorpio, what have you been praying for? Are you praying for a way out? Are you praying for a refreshment? Are you praying for support? You've been digging down into your own private well, using your own resources to get by. You're very, very powerful. 
you know the manifestation is done in a specific way and you know you have to drop the bucket down into your emotions and pull them out into the sun and let people see them spirit says come out come out wherever you are you're being given an opportunity to move forward in something you may or may not see this bridge but I dare say you've been walking towards it for some time this is the bridge I call it the bridge of size how many time many years do you have to pray to get over to the other side many of you are traveling Many of you have, have already done the work and been blessed with an opportunity from one difficult thing to the other. And look, dudes, it's a friggin' golden gate, okay? It's so grandiose. One side to the other is where you're going. And you're on it. You're on it very much. You would understand the laws of the universe, Scorpios. You create magic. You create beauty on the planet. Your power is needed. You understand the glory of three. And you understand the glory of transmutation and rising above uh, heavy burdens and just flying over them. You're, some of you are traveling. Yes, some of you are traveling in search of your abundance. Yep. Yeah. Could be with the Pisces as well. But this is about manifesting abundance in love. Um, this is anchoring down your faith, your beliefs, settling down somewhere. And some of you could be tra traveling over water as well, which is appropriate for a Scorpio, I think. I think you can talk to the dolphins and whales, too. I think you should. <laughs> and then you have spiritual strength. Strength to end cold situations. Strength to come out of the cold powerful powerful healing this polar bear um, understands what it's like to be in terribly cold temperatures to be treated so disrespectfully and to be in its own environment it had to put on this protective it comes naturally with this protective coat so what you have done is you protect you've kept yourself warm and safe in, and in, in, in a prayerful state and so the spirit guides God universe lord everybody is providing you a means to come out come out wherever you are it is what it is romance for the beautiful scorpios at this time no i don't want to take those yeah black salt you want to kick off some bad spells some black salt i got everything you need on this. i also have auric clear which is used to be called sacred holy mist so are clear and that's also anointed through metatron and then we also have um attract love dare to love attract love it's a special love um so all of my bottles come with crystals in the bottom the black magic comes with tourmaline the uh, attract love comes with gross course and of course the um aura clear comes with amethyst all essential oils all pure all amazing um the Aura Clear attracts archangels and angels to help you. All right, here we go. Romance for Scorpios. They're not popping, so I'm just going to take them. Okay. Scorpio. First message, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I wonder if it's relative to this. Moving, getting a bridge to move. Sometimes I think this may be traveling like an airplane, you know, somebody's traveling overseas to meet someone that they have chemistry with. Um, maybe for a reconciliation, someone from your past may be wanting to come back and they've been trying to gather up all their strength to do so. Um, you are worth waiting for. You have a love here that's worth waiting for. And in all due respect, due timing is in wor at work on this matter. So the more you stay at your prayer place, and you manifest this new energy about yourself, releasing the past um, and changing the way you're thinking and making plans for the future, you understand that the chemistry here is starting with you. It starts with you, understanding your worth, understanding your value, and loving yourself unconditionally. And then we have forgiving and learning would be very, very important in, in any of your matters so that you can ground yourself even better 
and be more stable in your destiny. So forgive so that your energy isn't angry with something you can't change anymore. May you be blessed in that knowledge. I'm going to give you a card. Temple path. Your path is sacred. Scorpios, do not deviate. Take time. Use your time wisely when you are being in meditation. This is the hangman, but he hangs out in the most beautiful temple. That is you. As you forgive and learn. Wow. You're the only ones getting this many cards. There is indecision on the table as regards to coming back to you. Because if someone is checking in their karmic fate, they're checking on it. Why? There were, because of the, the third eye chakras here, uh, activation. I said Metatron. I told you, Metatron. The sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, is here. And what's happening is it's transmuting negative and unforgiveness through your meditations and prayers and verbally. Holy smokes. I needed that too because I'm a triple scorp and I... I, I don't usually read for myself. Sometimes cards will pop out. Um, let's talk about you and your darling love, Scorpio. Let's have one of these, my loves. Scorpios, Sun and Rising Venus, mid-month July. Thank you for your presence. Forgiveness. Yes, very mandatory. Stop focusing your energy on the past. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, Third eye. Oops, fingers aren't working right. Mm hmm. What do you dream and what you imagine? It's all here, Scorps. It's all here. Let's take a look at your love energy. Who are you right now in love? How, do you, how are you feeling, Scorpios? You're feeling like yourself, King of Cups. Wah, wah. Look at you holding this face there. Hey, man, I'm good enough. I'm mature, man. I've, I've le learned forgiveness. My heart is beautiful. I realize that I'm on the temple path. Hallelujah. You also got the moon card. And this is the, uh, you tend to be a little moody about your giving and taking. You do a lot of dream work. You've been doing a lot of prayer meditation. And you love fantasy. Can't say as I blame you because I'm a scorp too. Yeah, with a Pisces moon. And what you have here is this deep, deep meditations if anybody can have a deep meditation it's a disciplined scorpio love you not always the case but in this case yes tell me what um what's on their heart at this time two of cups four of wands and the sun this is where you are scorpios my darling beautifuls you are really thinking about this soulmate situation and how to make this. You're dreaming about them too. This is someone who really gets you. They are equal um, in that the energies are. They, they actually see you. And then their presence alone heals you. This could be a Leo as well. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo in your energy. This is healing and vibrating at a very, very high level. Seeing things healing extremely well because you're on the temple path. Okay? And this is where your mind is at. This is your ultimate goal. And that is to be with this twin flame soulmate that makes you vibrate on a very nice natural healing level. So you both can walk the temple path. You don't need any sh schmucky getting in your space. That You're too serious for that, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, grounding, family, love, healing. Oh my God, you're beautiful. Let's take a look at your significant other you may be dealing with at this time. I guess they wanted you to have these Scorpios. All right, let's see. All right, are you ready for this? Oh, mid July, Scorpios in general, the Queen of Swords, someone you know is very, very clear minded. They're very, very, uh, she's very elegant, to say the least, this energy. Um, she means business. 
And she thinks love is a logical thing, whereas you might think that love is schmoony. So together, if you were able to meet in the middle with these energies of thought and heart, you would have a very balanced relationship if you could balance out the power being on the temple path. What's on her mind? Making an offer to you. Making a solid offer, but a small one just to get to know you. Yeah. Solid offer. And, and, and there's a blessing coming. This is a message. Magic, I want to create with you. <laughs> I want to manifest this with you. But you got your walls up and I've got competition. There's competition. And why is Scorpio protecting their energy to the point where they cannot manifest with someone? Why is this person trying to seven of wands? Um, the spiritual division between you at this time. Four of Cups. Let me tell you why this person's going to fail you. Even though you know this. I'm sorry to do this to you. This one. Love may be logical, but you can't think your way into love. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot offer blasé love and a small offer to a Scorpio. You're not going to get shit. Period. Trying to manifest with a one coin instead of the ten of coins uh, is also not going to work. And also, just conversations aren't going to work. They've got their those walls up between you. Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You, they're um, a magician. They know how to manifest. But if they don't invest enough in you, what's the point? Maybe you're not you're not into this one. I don't like that. Let me take a look at new love coming for you. That that I thought was new love. Let's take a look. So to me, that is someone that. Um, has a conflict of interest and they may not be for your best. Oh, okay. We have a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here who wants to build with you and work on your life with you. Uh, they also may be on the temple path. Look at the similarities of these energies and these. You see? Similarities. The vibration and color. Very much the same. This is someone who really wants to build with you. Let's find out who it is. Ah, I like that. Ha ha. Hi, Priestess. She made herself known. This is someone who will value you. This is someone that's going to value you. They may not tell you that they want to build with you. Could be a Pisces, could be a Virgo, could be an uh, Aries. I don't know. This is a, uh, she's flight floating above water. Ooh. Oh, snap. Yeah. Some of you are going to be getting married to a Pisces, possibly, um, or an earth sign that is mature, in control, owns a business, is someone in high spiritual stature. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Sometimes the emperor is considered God, bringing contracts together, people. In sacredness, sacred, Pisces, sacred, Pisces, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Taurus, or these could both be Taurus. Yeah, that's what I have at that point. Wow, this person right here. I have this new deck that I created myself this week when I was pretty sick, but it tells you what they're not telling you, what's on their mind. Tell me about this Emperor and the High Priestess for my beautiful Scorpios right now. Who is this? You're the sexiest person in the room, Scorpio. I'm drawn to your beauty. Ooh la la. <laughs> These are my own cards I created because I, I needed something else. Here we go, my loves. And I am rich but scorpio you don't know this 
I'm going to act like I'm poor and take you to poor places to see where your priorities are. I recommend you, re you take good examination of your intentions because you may be dealing with somebody who's incredibly rich and they want to know where you're coming from. Oh my God, I love that. And he also says, I'm very rich. I run a business. I'm very busy professionally. And Scorpio, would you be happy with my weekends right now? Good question. Don't you think? Good question. I like this. You may have to, you may be the same person. You may be like, hell, I work too. I'm a, I'm a high priestess, man. I got messages to give. Meditate and contemplate on this. Pisces, meditate and contemplate. And surrender to the divine Scorpio so you, that you can have happiness. Let me give you a special card I didn't give anybody else yet. Angel messages. What's the angel message for Scorpio? Release and surrender so that you can receive this high-powered relationship. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love and open your arms. Release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, your arms and your hearts to our love and assistance. The holy angels are here to help you to release. Okay, release, surrender. You got something amazing coming. If you wanna find out about your own love energies, I would be very, very happy to read for you. Go to my website, robinsrealmreadings.net to receive a reading. Thank you so much. And if you want one of these sacred boxes to, to help you through uh, blocking negative energy and resetting your vibration. I can help you with all of that. I'm a Reiki master as well. So check in with me. I love you. Thank you for being here. I hope this blesses you. You are my faves. Mwah. Bye, Scorpios. Namaste, darling.